Hello everyone. This is the video lecture to see the topic drag and drop an audio video control elements of HTML5. HTML5 is the advanced version of HTML which supports some more attributes to develop the web pages. One such attribute, one such facility is drag and drop. We can drag one object or one image from one place to the destination place. This feature is called as drag and drop. This is very interactive and user friendly concept that makes it easier to move the object to a different location by grabbing it. This allows the user to click and hold the mouse button over the element, drag it to the another location and release the mouse button to drop the element there. There are several events are associated with the drag and drop operation. They are on drag. It is used to used when the element or text selection is being dragged in HTML. On drag start. It is used to call a function drag event that specifies what data to be dragged. On drag enter. It is used to determine whether or not the drop target is to accept the drop. If the drop is to be accepted then this event has to be cancelled. On drag enter, it is used to determine whether or not the drop target is to accept the drop. If the drop is to be accepted, then this event has to be cancelled. On drag leave, it occurs when the mouse leaves an element before a valid drop target while the drag is occurring. On drag over, it specifies where the drag data can be dropped. On drop, it specifies where the drop has occurred at the end of the drag operation. On drag end, it occurs when the user has finished dragging an element. So to do the drag and drop operation, we have to do the following things in our HTML coding. Set an element as draggable with the draggable attribute img draggable equal to true. We have to set value true to the draggable attribute. Specify the drag behavior using the on drag start attribute by calling a function drag event to define a data to be tracked with event dot data transfer dot set data. Utilize the on drag over event to determine whether the data can be dropped. Implement the on drop event to perform the actual drop action. This is the coding showing the uh, example of drag and drop so uh, this is the output we will get that is there are two um, spaces uh, we have drawn the columns we have drawn uh, bo box like structure from the first actually the place actually this particular image is uh, originally present in the first box and we have clicked and dragged the uh, image to the second uh, box now the image is in the second box so to bring this kind of web page operation we have uh, we did several uh, attributes we did several uh, events uh, associated with the drag and drop operation so first of all we have created two uh, spaces with the help of div and DAV have created two spaces DAV1 and DAV2 with the following characteristics and we have defined the float uh, direction left and the width height margin padding border these are the attributes we have defined to create the boxes then under the body we have included the uh, several event and the methods for the drag and drop operation so originally the image will be in the DAV1 and and we will drag it from the first box and then the destination uh, box is the div2 so we have included the several event like um, on drop equal to drop event on drag over equal to allow drop event then we have included on image with the help of the tag img src uh, we have mentioned the uh, file name of the image and we have set the attribute draggable attribute 2 on the image so that we can drag the image and the destination is drop on drop will be implemented on dav2 
so we have set several event like on drop equal to drop off event on drag on drag over equal to allow drop event so by this kind of um, settings uh, it is possible to drag and drop the uh, images or any other objects from one space to uh, one place to another place in our uh, html uh, web pages then uh, we can see the audio video control element supported by html5 so with the help of audio there are uh, tags are there audio and video under which we can include our audio video files with the help of src source attribute so here is an example here we are describing about how to embed video files in our web page simply we have to mention the um, source of the video that is the file name of the video and the width and height of the video uh, element uh, in under the video tag and along with we have to mention the type of the video like file type of the video like OGG or MPEG4 this is an example coding where we have included the video element uh, with the various parameters and we have mentioned the source file uh, file name of file name and file type of the uh, video files so this is an output uh, this is the output web page showing the video control is present there and we can play the video and we can stop the video so all these attributes we can include with the help of this video element similarly we can so there uh, uh, and additionally there are many attributes are there uh, to control the look and feel of the uh, our video uh, attribute like auto play auto buffer controls height loop preload poster src width we can mention all those attributes we can give the various values to the attributes and we can change the uh, appearances and behavior of our video element similarly we can include the audio element audio to our web page with the help of the audio tag uh, similar to the video we have to mention the file name source uh, file name of our audio uh, which we want to include in our web page also we have to mention the type of the uh, audio file like ogg or uh, woav so this coding have mentioned we have uh, included the audio file with the help of the audio tag and uh, this is the output uh, element in the web page we will uh, get the <coughs> element like this to play the audio file and also we are having several number of attributes are there associated with the audio to control the look and feel and various functionalities of the control like auto play auto buffer controls loop preload src etc handling media events the html5 audio and video tag can have, can have number of attributes to control the various functionalities of the control using javascript these are the events supported by the javascript like about can play ended error loaded data load start pass and play progress rate change seek seeking suspend there are several attributes are there supported by the html5 with the javascript so that's all about the advanced elements of html5 thank you